guys and welcome back to my channel. So the next week is the first official day of fall, but if we're going to be real, we've been in fall for the last week or two. School's already back in, the weather's starting to change, summer activities are out, pumpkin spice lattes are in. <laughs> um, so I decided to do a makeup tutorial based on what I typically use for fall, which is more golden warm tones on the eyes with a rock and berry lip. If you guys want to see how this look is going to be created, then continue on watching. Bye guys! Starting off, I already moisture, so I'm going to move right into foundation, and I'm going to be mixing my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet and my Fit Me, Con Fit Me Foundation in one pin. This gives a super matte finish, but it's also too light for my skin right now, and this gives a very dewy skinish finish, and it is too dark for my skin, so mixed together, it's going to give me the perfect satin finish with the perfect color. blending all of that out with my e.l.f. powder brush. Moving on to my brows, I'm going to be using my Ulta Brow Tint in the color Light. priming my eyelids. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the color Champagne and just popping that all over my eyes. Moving now, I'm going to get into my favorite palette. I've been having it in a ton of tutorials, but really, honestly, the reason why is because it doesn't just have warm tones, but it also ranges into the cool tones, and I think that that's great because most palettes are either cool toned or they're warm toned, but this has them all. You go, Spanish box. Taking my MAC 2 and 7, that has seen better days, I'm going to start with this champagne color right here and mixing a little bit of this gold shimmery color here. I'm going to take these, a mixture of a little bit of these two. Now using the same two in MAC 2 and 7, I'm going to start using a bit of these two colors right here to start deepening in the crease. I'm going to blend all of that out. To give me a slight more sparkle on top of that, I'm going to use my Stila Magnificent Metal Foil by Shadow in the color Kitten. And I'm just going to tap that over my lid to give me some really nice sparkle. brush and a bit of the dark brown and the black mixed together to just lightly line my lash line. Now with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to take that underneath my eye to the outer third of my eye. I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. And I'm going to put on several really thick coats using my Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And 
putting a bit of that on my lower lash line. Moving on to the rest of my face, I'm going to start by concealing and I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer mixed with a little bit of my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Setting that using my Real Techniques 100 brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte. For my fall contour, it's always matte, so I'm just going to use my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with my Real Techniques contour brush and just lightly chisel my skin a bit. For my blush, the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel in the color Pink Escape. And I'm actually going to use it on the same brush that I use my contour with, just because it actually fits in that little tiny container. For my contour, I'm going to use my all-time obvious favorite, which is Champagne Pop. I'm not going to go crazy with this, I'm just going to use it sparingly. And that is the face done. Moving on to lips. I have been obsessed with ColourPop recently and I bought one of their lippy sticks which is in the color Blood. It is their matte. I could not believe this product. I spent five dollars for this lippy stick and it is honestly way better than drugstore and at a fraction of drugstore prices. Nowadays in drugstore you can't get a lip for you know eight ten bucks um, but this was five bucks and it is just such an amazing, 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 amazing color. It is going to be my fall staple. And that is the finished makeup look. If you guys liked this video, please do not forget to, as always, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me know. And also, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other videos. Starting in the month of October, I will be doing a series of Halloween makeup tutorials. So please do not forget to subscribe so that you can stay tuned and see those in the future. They're going to be a lot of fun and I'm really excited. I've already started filming some of them and I'm really excited to actually upload them so don't forget to subscribe so that you can always be on top of those videos um i thank you so much for watching guys i love you see you in my next video bye guys